MXE attracts his X-Max with an installed AI program. I've driven over water, met a rattlesnake, jumped off a cliff, and even drowned at the bottom of a lake. And this is my channel. Could you guess what we'll be reviewing today? Bet you can't. Still can't? It has something to do with RC stuff. Whatever you guessed, I'm sure it was wrong. So I shall remove the curtain from your eyes of what we'll be reviewing. The Flytech Crocodile Boat V005. No, not the V001, or the V002, nor the 3 or 4, but the Crocodile Boat V005. Let's see what you get. Instructions, of course, that we read, or did we? So you get the Crocodile Boat Head with its accompanying boat buddy, a charger for the battery for the boat buddy, a remote to control the dual motor system, extra flappy flaps, and here's the actual boat buddy. This is where you can open the lid to charge the battery. After deciding on the name Gregory for our new electronically inclined reptilian companion, we set him free and never saw him again. Goodbye, Gregory. I will always love you. After Gregory decided to come back, we found some strengths along with weaknesses we wanted to touch on. Weaknesses! Because you always give good news last. The boat's dual motor system would have been great if it wasn't how you steered. It made the boat's overall performance choppy and hard to maneuver in anything less than completely calm water. It would have been much better to have a rudder. So maybe we'll see that in the V006 in the near future? Two more things to add is the boat's performance could drastically be improved if the motors or motor were more powerful and if the overall boat was bigger for stability. Strengths! The crocodile boat was such a fun concept and I've always wanted to get one of these ever since I saw the fake crocodile prank video. Has anyone else seen it? You might see a future videos of me trying to terrify humans by having it slowly approach unsuspecting victims. Another thing about it is it floats extremely well. We threw it in the water and it just popped right back up. So we didn't worry about it tipping over and losing it. It is also very tough. While we were driving Gregory around on top of a waterfall, and yes, I know, not the smartest idea. He was taken by the current and fell down some rocks. Luckily we found him and he only suffered a minor scuff on the back of his precious little head. I'm so sorry you didn't get to see me this video, but I'll be coming out with more videos of me in the near future, hopefully. To purchase this little guy, just go in the description below and follow the link. It may or may not bring you good fortune. Who knows? Thank you for watching. Please leave a like and many much comments and have a pleasant rest of your day. Bye!